Hey everyone, Chris Perla here. Thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm going to talk about frequency separation. This is a method used by many photographers in order to remove blemishes and imperfections on the skin without degrading the skin quality. This means that the skin will retain its texture for the best possible results. To make it easy for you, I have added a link in the description to my frequency separation action that will make your experience so much better. I will use this action to show you how it's used. Also, if you don't have an image, you can download one from unsplash.com. It's a free stock site and the images are free to download and they are royalty free as well. And I am not endorsing them. I am not getting paid by them. It is just a, that good of a site. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we have an image of my son. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of imperfections in his face. I'll go ahead and uh, zoom in here a little bit. And you can see he's got uh, some uh, imperfections. He's got some acne. Um, and uh, we're not going to worry about these blotches. Um, because I prefer to use my brush tool and if you want to learn how I do that um, we can do that in another video but this is just to show you real quick and I think we can fix these eyebrows too how to use the frequency separation tool so over here I got my little this little icon here this arrow that's your actions if it does not show in this side panel right here all you have to do is go to window and then click on actions and it'll show up right over here so you click on your actions after you've installed it and it'll show up like this you'll have a default actions if you have other actions they'll show up in here and then you have fx slash ray retouch and that's the one that you will be able to download. So all you have to do is open that. You have a bunch of different ones in here. And the one that I like to use, of course, is advanced frequency separation. It's just my preference. So I highlight that one and I hit the little play button at the bottom and that goes ahead and starts my uh, actions here. Now what this box is, is your Gaussian blur. And what you want to do is you just want to make sure that it is set to a point where the imperfections are not showing anymore because they're so blurry. Um, what I usually like to do is go until they're pretty much gone. And for this image, it's actually pretty high. So let's go ahead and just set it to 20.4. Um, and I've never had it that high before, but um, so let, let's see how that works out. So I hit okay. And that sets that up for me. Now, the next thing that you wanna do, let's just go ahead and hide that. And you see all these different items that popped up here. Um, a lot of people like to use skin blemish, like the highlight skin blemish. And what this does, it, it brings out all of the imperfections. You can see all of them. And uh, for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on. What you wanna do is down here in the frequency separation folder, you wanna click on high frequency edit. You highlight that and then you can start to edit your photo. What you wanna do is I usually hit J and that will give me my um, healing brush tool. And the one that you want to use is just the healing brush tool. So when you see right here, the way that I have it set up is my brush is at an angle. And I do that on purpose just because it's easier for me. The way that you do that is you right click on your mouse and then you can change the size, the hardness of it, the spacing. And this is where you can make it more of a circle or you can do it more of an oval. And I use, I leave it at more of an oval. So um, just click wherever when you get out of there and you use your bracket keys to make it bigger or smaller. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna hold down the option key 
And this is going to allow you to pinpoint a spot that you want to sample from. So there's a line right here and I'm going to go ahead and sample right underneath it. And then I'm going to come up and I'm just going to go over that line. And just like that, it's gone. And we see this big white blotchy area right here. Now I didn't, I said I wasn't going to do these, but this one's so noticeable. I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can get rid of that. Took a couple tries. It looks a little bit better, but like I said, I don't use this for those types of um, imperfections. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here, uh, make my brush a little smaller. And now I'm going to go in here and sample right above it. Get this little guy right here, sample here. And you, it works really good for the hair. So I'm going to sample right here and I'm going to clean this up. I mean, this, this tool is simply amazing. Okay, just like so. And right here, I'm gonna sample these big areas, get that out of there, get that big one out of there. And like I said before, this is great because it actually keeps the texture of the skin. It doesn't make it blurry or fuzzy or anything like that it actually retains the detail which is why so many photographers use this and this is a great great tool so all, all I'm doing here is I'm sampling from a from a good area and I'm just brushing out the imperfections and as you can see it's working wonderfully now this depending on on what you're doing you know if it's for a fashion shoot obviously you want to take a lot more care into how you do this I would actually zoom in to three or four hundred percent depending on the megapixel count of your camera um, me personally I'm shooting with a Nikon D750 which has 24 megapixels which is more than enough for what I need it for so as you can see right here, it's really cleaning up a lot of these blemishes. Okay, let's go down here a little bit. Let's get these big black spots. And the thing that's so amazing about this is you, doing this technique and using the skin blemish, um, letting it be visible, you can really, really get in there. Half of these blemishes would not even be noticeable unless you had that checked and that's I'm talking about this right here the skin blemish we have a little eye on there so if I click it off I mean it doesn't even <laughs> it doesn't even look like it's that bad but I can see it and um, but this this is this is a great tool as you can see I don't know how good it, you can see it on your screen, but all my texture is still there. I even get these hairs, these extra hairs that are coming out. Um, so we have this scar right here, and um, let's go ahead and get rid of that scar. Just like that, it disappears. So this is a, a great tool, and it works great. So, okay. That's a really quick um, demonstration on how frequency separation works. I've actually used this accent so much, I don't <laughs> remember how to create my own frequency separation using layers, but what's the need if you have this action, you don't have to. So I'm pretty much done here. Um, for just the average image, this looks great uh, when it comes to removing those blemishes. So what I'm going to do is, let's see here. Oh yeah. All right. So let me zoom in once. So here is the before and here is the after. One more time. Here's the before. 
and here is the after. So that's a quick tutorial on how to use the frequency separation in Photoshop. Like I said, I'll have a link to the file for this frequency separation action. You can go ahead and click on it and download it to your computer and you'll be able to install it into Photoshop and use it exactly the way that I did. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, my website is chrispearl.com. That's it for today, and I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.